today's topic. Oh, it's kind of a weird one because I kind of predicted this was going to happen. Just not really uh, the team that predicted. So, as most of you will obviously be aware, uh, with the Kraken arriving on the horizons, obviously they're going to need to have their own AHR affiliate. And they were awarded one. In fact, let's still double check when Parlswing was awarded. Uh, hold on for a sec. Okay. So, um. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah. September 2019, um, they awarded the Palm Springs franchise, which was supposed to play at the exact same time as the Cracker Wars, the 21 22 season. But of course, then it all turned into a bit of a, 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 bit of a soap opera, really. I mean, we were, really, there was so much going on left, right, and centre, uh, which has meant that things haven't really been able to get off the ground as Seattle had. Plan. So a bit like how their air child franchise gets a delayed start, the air child franchise gets <laughs> a delayed start. And of course a lot of you thinking, oh, what, what do you mean by that? Well, of course if you remember when obviously during the, during the, uh, the build up to Seattle being awarded their franchise, they were trying to get 2020-2021 as their preferred start date but then obviously when they got awarded the franchise in late December 2019 the league said nope you're gonna play 2122 which actually Kraken will work up a lot better for you for you and uh, Palm Springs franchise um, for, um, are due to begin now at the earliest 22-23 season that's the earliest now uh, Palm Springs franchise can uh, begin play. So that's a year later than the intended target they had in mind. So basically, sort of for the same face they're playing club because they didn't get their target game. But that's a celebrity year later. That's good. Palm had to do. Um, has there been any updates on Palm Springs since? Uh, let's double check that. Mm, no, not really. Okay, we'll just focus on the main, on the main story then, uh, which is that uh, the Kraken have agreed a dual partnership. Now, I'll let you guess who the partnership is with, because obviously when we heard that Palm Springs was going to be delayed by a year, I don't know, I was then thinking, right, okay, what's going to happen now? Because Surely the Cats for Kraken probably aren't going to be without an affiliate for a year. Um, and I did, and then obviously as we've seen with this, this year's season, with St. Louis, Florida and Nashville all forming uh, dual partnerships with one another, with another team's franchises, as of course Milwaukee, Charlotte and Springfield all elected not to play in the 2020-21 uh, season, so we saw the Blues team up with Vancouver for what became the final year of Vancouver's partnership with Utica. We had the Predators team up with the Hurricanes, who who were having their first year as um, as the partnership with as the affiliates of Chicago Wolves, having some of their ties with Charlotte. And we had a bit of a weird one: the Panthers team up with their interstate rivals, the Lightning with the Syracuse uh, crunch. So it got me thinking, well, that's probably what the Kraken's going to have to do. They're going to team up with somebody, you know, probably just for a year as a dual uh, partnership. So that's I definitely thought. So I saw, so when this announcement came out, I wasn't too surprised. I was surprised who they went with, but I wasn't too surprised that um, 
this is what the cracker is going to have to do because there really is no other way uh, round it. <laughs> In fact, let's take a look at the distance between the, the, the kraken and the teenage partnered with. Let's read it up. Okay, so let's have a look the distance wise because I think this probably may not work. Oh my! Okay, because um, as we saw throughout this season, the dual pot of shit hadn't really worked for most teams. I mean, blue teams. In fact, the teams that had to had to partner up, uh, basically. Uh, didn't get past the first round of the postseason. In fact, yeah, in fact, all six teams of did qualify, the original owners and the, the teams had to double up, but the teams had to double up didn't get past the first round. The Blues got knocked out, by the, got swept by the Avalanche. Predators got knocked out by Carolina, so that's a bit awkward there. And also the Pampers got knocked out by the Lightning, so that's a bit awkward there. Right, so I've looked at the distance between uh, the two, uh, the, the part of the shit, let's see how it's going to go to, it's by, go to, now by, this is by plane, it's four hours, 48 minutes, from Seattle, to, Charlotte! Yes! Everybody loves the checkers! Well, not Carolina anymore. But yeah. So the Charlotte checkers, who of course, this year, were going to be the Florida Pampers, are the Florida Pampers new affiliates, but of course, as Charlotte chose to sit out, uh, the Pampers haven't really had an opportunity to be engaged with Charlotte yet. Um, you don't really get a chance next season either because obviously you're now going to buddy up. So yeah, so that is interesting. So it's about four hours, four eight minutes from Seattle to Charlotte. So that's going to be interesting when you have to call people up from, for the Kraken. That's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, so an interesting part of shit there. I would have thought Seattle would have, would have when thinking who they were going to have to choose to do. To, to, have as a dual partner. I would have thought the men would have gone to gone for something a bit more closer. So I'm not sure really who would be closer, but maybe they could have gone and looking at vision because that's probably where the part of the franchise is going to play in twenty twenty three. They might have looked and thought, oh who could we uh target? So maybe oh uh, just a double up. Um Mm, well, given how Palm Springs is a Californian base, they could maybe try to mm, buddy up with, say, maybe Bakersfield, Stockton, Ontario, San Diego, well, those lot could have, uh, just so see has got an idea what it's like in the Californian market. But it's an interesting... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a very, very interesting... Um, Partnership, because of course for Charlotte, there's going to be a lot of pressure for them, obviously, in, in the upcoming 2022 season, because obviously for them, it's the real defence of the Cardinal Cup. Because remember, of course, Charlotte, they won the Cardinal Cup. They, of course, remember, Charlotte, Charlotte is the most recent Cardinal Cup champions. They won in 2019, and of course, we've not had in 2020. We've not had in 2021. So everyone's going to be determined to get Charlotte's Cup off them. Um, yeah. So let me take you through the agreement. As well, this actually might not be as long as I might have planned because I can't remember the moment. Um, so, a part of the agreement, the Checkers will simultaneously host players from the Kraken and the Panthers organisation. As the Checkers' primary affiliate, the Panthers will provide the head coach, while the Kraken will have the opportunity to provide an assistant coach. Okay. So, go get, so, that, okay, so, check, so Charlotte's determined to get a mixture for both sides here. Uh, 
the set agreement that Disney is keeping, the set agreement will, will last one season to allow, obviously, for the construction of the Palm Springs Arena. That will eventually host a Kraken's HR expansion organisation. Um, so the idea is this is going to be just a one year thing because hopefully barring no more uh, ooh, what's a good word barring no more twists in the plot uh, the past means matter shall be ready for 2023 which is when obviously we're going to have a unified schedule for the first time in quite a long while which of course that in itself is very exciting exciting news it really is so yeah so obviously the pampers deal will just extend longer than what they probably will agree i don't know what the pampers agreed with charlotte when they started that down in september last year um tell okay i was thinking about that there um, so yeah, so it's very interesting. Like I say, so it's just, it's just for this season. So like how obviously this season we saw the Predators, Blues and Pampers had to double up with somebody in a dual partnership while their team set out. That's what the Crackers going to have to do next year. It's the difference their team hasn't even got their arena ready yet. But hopefully by the end of the 21 22 season that arena will be ready for Palm Springs to actually go and play and hopefully there will be no more problems. The question now will be, what do you do with the alignment, particularly in the Pacific Division? Um, so let's have a little, little quick look at word about both spot both sides made of it here. Um, let's bring out the Seattle yeah, Kraken make of it first. Actually, no, no mind. Try to come on with the on Sharks website. Right, so here's what Checker's owner and CEO had to say. We are excited to work with Kraken General Manager again as we helped about the inaugural group of Seattle Kraken prospects. We feel the partnership between ourselves, the Kraken, and our primary fear, the Florida Panthers, will give the Checkers a strong pool of players for the upcoming season. And then... And then here's, that, here's now what Seattle has to say about it. Here's what the Kraken German manager has to say about it. The NHL plays such a key role in the development of NHL players that this was a very important decision for the long-term success of our organisation. We are obviously familiar with with the Charlotte Checkers as well as the area. And this agreement helps ensure we can loan all of our prospects to one place rather than multiple locations. We would like to thank both Charlotte and the Florida Panthers for their cooperation to make this happen. And then here's what the Pampers had to say. That was that's just a quick sentence for the Pampers here. We are looking forward to welcoming the C Seattle to the NHL and utilising this partnership to create an ideal environment for our prospects to train and compete in Charlotte, said the Lord of Pampers general manager. We can't wait to put the drop in Charlotte for the upcoming season. Well, I bet you can't mean, because oh, obviously, unlike my affiliates, the Barracuda, you've not played since March. 2020, I think. Yeah, because we're going to pause. So, yeah, so I'll see Charlotte And I think this actually might give P Pampers Kraken matchups in the NHL. It could give it that little extra flavour because they'll both have this sort of little weird little connection. How they can, oh, how. Do you remember when we used to share the fillet together for that one year? So that could be um, interesting because. The Kraken's going to need to try and build up friends here in the league. Um, particularly uh, since the last expansion franchise didn't go too well by that. They were more burning bridges rather than building bridges. Um, and of course we know Death, they should have a good rivalry built in with Vancouver. But, but if they're looking for maybe a potential Eastern rivalry... This could be one to keep an eye on, particularly as there'll be that little flavour to it. Because obviously both teams will have a bit of a con uh, connection because they actually did used to share a club uh, together. Not that the three teams that had to do a dual partnership this year can say that, because obviously for the Blues, 
that team in Utica is now technically now in Abbotsport, and the team now in Utica used to be in Biddington. It's all very confusing, that place. Um, Nashville, Nashville, I don't know, now look too fondly on the time being in Chicago, it's a bit worth it, and then I don't think the Pampers will certainly be point to look back on Syracuse, Jeez, but hey, you know that. So, all in all, I think it's a very interesting partnership. I'm not surprised this partnership's happening, because I did sort of call it. I did think, well, with the Crackers appear, it's not going to be able to play when they want to play. The Crackers going to need to think of something. I did thought, well, do a partnership, easy, or it's been to sort out. I just did not call who the partnership was going to be, and I think it's very, very interesting, very exciting. And I look forward to see how this is going to affect all three parties. Um, in fact, just before we go, let's see how the dual partnerships affected the AHL sides uh, from last year. Because I've talked about the NHL sides, how they were affected, and that is the T's had to do the dual partnership all got knocked out in the division semi-finals of the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs. Um, now, of course, for the three teams they bodied up with, none of them had posting you know, over the Pacific Division, so our division had posting in action. So let's see how it fared for the HL side. So, uh, Right, so, Utica, um, who the Blues bodied up with Vancouver for, they finished in fourth place. Um, they played 28 games, won 16, lost 11. In regulation, lost none in overtime, but did lost once in a shutout for a total number of 33 points. Syracuse Crunch, who the Pampers buddied up with the Lightning for, finished one place ahead of them. Actually, they finished in third. They played 32 games, they won 19, lost 10 in regulation, lost three in overtime, lost none in a shutout. For a total of 41 points. And then we look to the uh, Chicago Wolves. Who obviously are in the division those two teams. They actually did the best of those three that had to buddy up. They finished first in the central division. After 30, they played 33 games, 121. Lost 9 in regulation. Lost one in overtime, lost two in the shutout for a total of 45 points. So, it's bad to see Chicago did the best there um, of those three AHL figures that had to buddy up in a dual partnership. So, a mixed bag. So, a first place, a third place, and a fourth place there. So, we'll have to see, see how things fare for Charlotte. But, like I say, it's going to be... A very interesting partnership, and we'll look forward to see how it develops in the se season. We'll have to see. Well, that's going to do it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. Before we go, just remind you if you haven't already subscribed to the podcast, you can listen to it wherever you get your podcast. And until next time, we'll see you So, I will leave you now. Well, thank you for joining us for another amazing video. To see more, check out our most recent upload here. Or why not check out that featured playlist? And don't forget to subscribe. What are you waiting for? I highly recommend it.